Namaskaram to you all from Italy. My name is Giuditta De Concini and I am a Bharatanatyam dancer and practitioner based in Bologna. I am part of Associazione Jaya, a cultural association working with yoga, Indian dance, Tai Chi and East and Western music. In fondo alla tua attesa, First of all, I wish to express my gratitude for having been given the occasion to reflect, having the time and space, upon issues which are so crucial and fundamental for us here in Italy, no matter the distance to India. So, why do we choose to pursue the extraordinary path of this art form here in Italy? We will try to answer this very broad question through the voices of several members of the Italian Bharatanatyam dance community. They are dancers, practitioners, teachers, mainly women, spread all over our country. Dance had a big impact in my life and I feel it has a big impact in the life of my students as well. I'd like to use the words of Chandraleka when uh, she says that for her it's all about evoking human energy and dignity in an environment which becomes more and more brutalizing. In Italy, when people assist to a Bharatanatyam performance, very often the following comment is that they felt a sense of joy, wonder, relief, deep connection and serenity. I think this is due to various factors. On the one hand, the wondrous gestures and the geometry of Bharatanatyam links us to the realm of beauty and of Advuta gifting us with the capacity, here from a different perspective, to look at the world through renewed and innocent eyes. May it be something known or unknown that we have seen, something close or far, something which is easily comprehensible on the intellectual level or not. Moreover, the inherent power of all storytelling is here enhanced by the technique of Abhinaya and through the complete bodily involvement in the narration. This gives the audience a perfect mirror perspective of a yogic state. It is a concrete, visible example of oneness. And if this is true for the unaware Rasikas, it is even more true for dance students and practitioners. In this sense, through the creation of a dance group, or perhaps I may dare use the term Sangat, the dance practice becomes a means of personal growth and evolution, a concrete element which works deeply in the cellular memory and becomes therefore embodied in the dancers. So, if ethics is something we may not teach or not be able to spread only through words, it is definitely something we may try to transmit by deeds or by examples. Natya becomes then the perfect vehicle for this fundamental and socially crucial passage. Individual awareness is, I believe, the basic step towards a sustainable society and a balanced collective mind. To speak another language. Per me questa danza è terapia, è la terapia dell'esserci, un lavoro sulla presenza. Ho deciso di iniziare a danzare Bharatanatyam perché volevo provare una danza fortemente codificata e significante. Well, why do I breathe? Why do I walk? The social impact is there when you see something beautiful and unknown and you simply recognize it. Non c'è un impatto evidente sulla società, però lo ritrovo nell'individuo. Sì, il Bharatanatyam ha un forte impatto sociale legato alla curiosità 
che suscita negli altri, soprattutto ritengo alla sua forma fortemente letteraria. I think Bharatanatyam spreads a different type of beauty. Oh, uh, you mean uh, Bollywood? Barata cosa? Ah, fai danza del ventre, quella coi veli, pancia scoperta, generalmente è questo. Oh, sure, you are an anthropologist. Coming from a non-Indian background, besides all of the difficulties of distance, of cultural gap, we also have a very privileged position to observe. Bharatanatyam is a never-ending process of learning and sharing. It also gave me dignity as a woman, something that in the West sometimes you might be very confused about. We are basically presented with two choices as women. You can be the saint or you could be the unholy. Whereas when you step into Bharatanatyam and you explore the heroines, you are requested to explore many aspects. You can be the saint, you can be the lover, the demon, and you realize very soon that there is no fragmentation. They're all aspects of the same thing. Due to our obvious ignorance, the dance practice becomes a critical space where we become aware of our own untold cultural prejudices and we put them to a test. Bharatanatyam helps us in this task, both thanks to its formal and technical features, the need to be very disciplined, strongly committed, and to have continuity in what we do, and for the philosophical content it is able to pass down. I believe we can contribute to society. If we intend to promote cultural diversity through the arts, I think we should no longer present Bharatanatyam as an ethnic dance form, as it should enter the mainstream. That is why presenting Indian classical dance in theatres is so important to me. Working with dance in the community context put me in touch with the Indian minorities living abroad, who would often rediscover their own cultural heritage through dance and dance practice. By dancing, we know we may become a bridge between cultures, between different perspectives on life. Being involved in Bharatanatyam dance here in Italy gives us the power to demonstrate how diversity is actually richness and how in the end all of this diversity on a more deep human level does not really exist. In the end we see that all is one Chef.